Hi, my name is Daniel Markison, and I will be reading Phyllis's Orange Shirt by Phyllis Webstad. Little Phyllis lived with her granny on the Dog Creek Reserve. They would pick berries, garden, and catch fish to preserve. There were not many kids with whom Phyllis could play because they went to residential schools far, far away. One day, Granny took Phyllis to town. It was exciting to see so many people around. Granny took Phyllis to a shop full of clothes, with hats for your head and socks for your toes. Phyllis picked out a shirt that was so orange, shiny, and bright, and Granny bought it for her to wear with delight. On the first day of residential school, Phyllis just couldn't wait. She wore her orange shirt so that she would look great. But when she arrived, her mood started to change. The place was so cold, unfriendly, and strange. Her bright orange shirt was taken away, and she worried about how long she would stay. At public school, she was taught how to read and write neatly by her teacher who treated her so very sweetly. Phyllis liked her teacher, but missed her granny so bad, along with the garden at home she had had. And then when finally summer arrived, Phyllis returned to the home where she thrived. We wear our orange shirts to remember that every child matters and not just in September. We honor First Nations people and reflect on how every child is special and deserves our respect.